This new compact blower valve is going to not only save space, but also increase performance. Hey guys, Pat from Aeroflow Performance. Today I'm gonna to introduce you to the new addition to our range, which is the compact blow-off valve series. So when I say compact, we're talking in regards to uh, the 38 millimeter uh, diameter of this one, as opposed to the 50 mil bore of our traditional blow-off valve that we've had for quite a while. This is just an early prototype um, that we had, but as you can see, the physical diameter, the physical space that that takes up, what you can mount that to when it comes to Fitting that onto a smaller diameter pipe, it's quite tricky to weld the bung on. Uh, and also, your only option is to uh, vent uh, atmospheric with this, uh, with this style. There is a return one, but it's not as efficient, so most people will buy this external version. So moving on to the compact version, as you can see, it is uh, a, much, uh, a much smaller design. Uh, it's a little bit taller than the other one, but the inlet uh, on the bottom is a lot smaller. It comes with uh, these weld flanges. So uh, this is an alloy, there's also a stainless steel. Uh, as you can see, there's a little groove in there. When you fit it into the bottom of the valve, you've got these little grub screws uh, that will basically bite into that groove in the flange. And that's how you seal it on. So weld that onto uh, an alloy or a steel pipe uh, and you're good to go. As you can see here, it's fitted with uh, a small trumpet, I guess you would say, or a barb that's on the side. This, if left open, can vent to atmosphere, so you get the big psh noise. Uh, if you want to plumb this back into an intake or made it into a factory style system, obviously you've got the barb there, so you can do that. Now these unscrew, as you can see here, and then we've got quite a range. So the larger trumpet, the smaller, flange and you can fit those in uh, and then you can adapt it to a smaller return pipe to your intake or your intake manifold uh, to keep the system nice and legal. We've got two options as you can see the hard anodized black uh, and then also the polished version so depending on the style that you're after you've got two options there. We've got these little washers here which might not sort of make sense but what they're for internally in the blow-off valve you can see that you can rotate the top to harden or soften the tension of the spring that's inside there. If that on its hardest setting is not quite enough tension, you can start adding these washers or shims underneath the spring and that will increase the amount of tension. So if you have, uh, for example, um, a high boost application, uh, when you get to a certain boost level, the tension on that spring may be not enough and it's starting to push the valve on the inside and it's going to start bleeding boost off. By adding those extra shims, you're increasing the preload on the spring, which makes it harder for the boost pressure to push that open. So you can adjust that. By adjusting this, you can get a different range of sounds or you know, flutters or, or, uh, uh, or maybe a dose, if that's what you're really after. Um, but the option's there, so you can adjust that. So I touched on it really uh, briefly. If you wanted to uh, run this in a factory style system, so if you've got a factory turbocharged vehicle and you, it would be uh, plumbed back uh, into the intake standard, but you're going to ditch that and go to um, the full atmospheric vent. Um, we've got the uh, trumpets, but also we've got these little block offs as well. So if you've got a tube that's gonna remain on the vehicle uh, or you're gonna shorten it to where it plumbed back into the intake manifold and you need to cap that off. We've got these nice little billet plugs so as opposed to you know the old chair leg rubber stopper or uh, you know or, or something like a, a big bolt or something like that. We've got these in various sizes so you can just pop those straight into the end of that hose and it blocks it off nicely with a hose clamp and that way you don't have to worry about it perishing or uh, you know cracking if it's rubber or, uh, or plastic. Um, so they're a nice little accessory that we have. All right guys the compact blower valves are now in stock. You can see them at your local distributor, quality retail outlet, or jump online at aeroflowperformance.com. <laughs>